Hi guys, I wanted to put a video out there and talk about a few things that have been weighing on my heart lately. Um, this has been a really tough month for me. I have lost a lot of friendships and um, it's, it's funny because the friendships I've lost is, the hypocrisy is so thick. And I know I'm not a perfect person and I've never claimed to be a perfect person. And I will be the first one to apologize or admit to any wrongdoing at all. And uh, it's just funny how things, how the friendships ended. Uh, because in my mind, it's like glass houses, you know. I know my life's not perfect. And God knows everything, obviously. But I don't go out and judge my friends for their behaviors and beat them down for theirs yet the people that I thought were my friends did that to me um, and at this point I really I don't care I'm totally fine with not having those relationships uh, and I realized that because that not, not many of them are followers of Jesus Christ so I know God is trying to tell me I'm changing things in your life and I need you to just trust me and uh, so one instance one of the friendships that I lost was uh, yesterday and um, it it was shocking at some of the things that the person said to me um, and I, I'm not gonna go over it but I was like really insulted and couldn't believe another person could actually say those types of things to somebody. I was appalled because I would I would not attack somebody like that. It's just not my character. Um, so I woke up at, in the middle of the night last night, and I had this weird. I was it was hard for me to fall asleep because I was emotionally drained. I've been emotionally drained pretty much the whole month just because of everything going on, and uh, I woke up. And I felt, my body just felt so weird. I felt like I was like f almost floating. And I got up and uh, I was kind of walking around my bedroom. My husband was asleep. The dogs were asleep on the bed. And it was just, it was like one of these weird moments like, I don't belong here. This is not my true home. This is not where it's gonna, everything's gonna end for me. And uh, so, I went back to sleep and then I, I prayed about it before I went back to sleep and I woke up and I really God told me you know just realizing that he you know telling me Jesus is coming my son is coming soon and no you don't belong in this world you there's so much better things for you and just knowing that priorities and stuff have changed in my life too you know I, I really, I feel bad for all those people in California that have lost so many things. And I don't want to put anybody down at all. Uh, and I feel bad for everyone who's lost their stuff. But when you have the elite of Hollywood, you know, that have lost their mansions and all this other stuff, yes, my heart goes out to them, but they can also rebuild. There are people that FEMA is turning away and saying that they won't help that actually really need help. And so my point for that is, you know, you have to be thankful for what you have here, but just remember Jesus Christ is gonna give you so much more up in heaven. And when the rapture comes, it's gonna be like a party up there. And so we just need to make sure that we surround ourselves with people of faith and that we're equally yoked in our relationships. Uh, that doesn't mean I hate anyone. I don't. I don't hate anybody. You can live your life the way you want to live it. Um, and I'm, st I'm still friends with people that I don't agree with their lifestyle. Um, several of the friendships that I have let go of is great because I actually kind of feel like a relief has been lifted. God is really... He's in my corner. He really is. And I, I feel like he's really taking care of me and my family. And uh, you just, you have to trust in him because he is going to do what is best for you. 
no matter what situation it is. And things will turn out different than you think they're going to turn out because ultimately God's got you. He has got you. And so I'm so thankful for my husband and my children and the rest of my family and my true friends. Uh, I still have tons of true people that would never judge me. They love me no matter what, and I love them. And, you know, it's a really, sh it's a real shame that some of the friendships that I've lost because I feel like I gave a lot of heart to those relationships. And God was just saying, it's not worth it anymore. It's not, you're not a good person when you're with these people. And so I feel, I feel better now. And I feel vindicated because I know that I have the Lord on my side. So, um, I know this is rambling. I am really not great at these YouTube videos, but it does feel nice, uh, that I have an outlet to express myself. Um, but yeah, I just, the, the holiday season's here, you know, we're, we're celebrating Jesus Christ's birth, which is a, a great thing. And, um, you know, my, my kids, I read them their Bible every night. They love their Bible stories. And, uh, just, we have to remember that God is first. God is always first. And yes, I love my husband and my children, but my love for God is even greater than that. And so it's just important that we stay with that and that we pray for everyone struggling and, you know, try to lift people up in positive light and help them instead of come down on them and just be supportive in everything that we do for everyone. Uh, God bless you all.